Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today with the crystals experiment set from Mel Chemistry, you will grow crystals of red prussiate of potash, also known as potassium hexocyanoferrate. Perform this experiment on a plastic tray to keep the table clean and contain any spills. Make sure you put on gloves and protective glasses before you start. To open a bottle with a regent, push the cap down and turn it. For the red crystals experiment, you'll need potassium hexocyanoferrate, a syringe without a needle, a plastic rod, and a petri dish. From the starter kit, take a disposable cup and a beaker. Also, prepare a kettle of boiling water. Pour approximately 100 milliliters of boiling water into the beaker using the syringe. Take 10 milliliters of the hot water and add it to the disposable cup. Now add one bottle of potassium hexocyanoferrate to the cup. Now set the cup inside the beaker with the boiling water. Take the plastic rod and carefully stir the contents of the cup for approximately two to three minutes. When the substance dissolves completely, carefully pour the solution into a Petri dish. Leave the Petri dish with the solution on the tray. Within 12 hours, the first crystals will begin to form in the solution. After that, carefully set the Petri dish in a safe place where it won't be disturbed or touched. In two to three days, the crystals will grow even larger and more beautiful. Potassium hexocyanoferrate dissolves easily in hot water. However, as you know, water evaporates over time and the solution cannot hold all of the dissolved red preciate of potash anymore. That's why it precipitates out of the solution forming beautiful red crystals. We recommend carrying out the red crystals and the cupric sulfate experiments one after another, preferably on the same day so that you can compare the rate at which the red and blue crystals grow. Please visit the Mel Science website to learn more about these experiments.